taken her a wash started, you know. And of course, the, the three oldest brothers went into the service. And the other two, because my dad and mother couldn't work that farm by themselves, they got those two deferred. We were graduating on the 2nd of June. I drove my Model A, 1928 Model A, to Milwaukee with, with three other guys. We enlisted in the Navy because we heard the food was better in the Navy than it was in the Army. His name was David Ordick. He was living in Chicago with his wife and child, and he was taken right into it. He only had about six weeks training and shipped overseas. He came through the Battle of the Bulge, and of course everybody was ecstatic, he's safe now. But he wasn't, he was killed by a sniper. And he's buried over there in Luxembourg. Because we'd been in two campaigns before that, you had an idea there wasn't gonna be no Sunday school picnic or anything like that. We had no idea really the immense uh, preparation and the amount of troops and ships and stuff that there would be. That's just beyond imagination, you know, and they never told you that, uh, how much it was going to be. They told you, they didn't even tell us the beach we were going to be on. We found that out and we got on the boat to uh, go across the English Channel. You know, they had a little Coast Guard station up here in Escanaba, Michigan. Did we go there once in a while, you know, they always see those sailors in their nice white uniforms and they seem to be enjoying themselves there. So that's, that was the first thing. Just before the atomic bomb was dropped, we were at Okinawa and there was a lot of ships tied to each other. You could walk from one ship to the other. You know. They called for a mass, a service I should say. All religions, everybody got on their knees. We knew something was coming. We knew something was coming. You must remember everybody was scared. We were all 18 year olds, 19 year olds, fresh out of high school, on six weeks of training at Great Lakes or any other naval base, army base, the same thing. But we had a lot of guys that cried because they knew after that service we had was something big was coming and uh, I got a lump in my throat, there's no doubt. The sight you never forget. I got hit on the beach before we blew a pillbox and some obstacles for, that they had for landing craft for coming in. And we were supposed to blow out a wall that, uh, so that the uh, tanks and stuff could come in behind and go up from the beach. We never made that and we were pinned on the beach until way in the afternoon. But, uh, I got hit. Uh, before we got to blow that uh, wall. So, okay, but we stayed there six, six weeks of basic training, you know. We call it boot camp, boot camp. And then uh, I got up one morning and there was my brother. <laughs> he came in the same place as I was. But we didn't stay together long because I was ready to get on a boot camp and he was just coming in, see. But, yeah, we hailed each other, you know. <laughs>